Now, condolence visits continue as late Yinka Dumakin's widow, Joe K. Dumakin, receives leaders of the South and Middle Belt Forum at his Omali residence. Our correspondent, Jacinta Obuku, has more. It's been days now since late a Fenifere spokesperson, Yinka Udumakin, passed on after battling with respiratory problems occasioned by COVID-19 complications. Among prominent Nigerians who paid visits to the deceased family are the leaders of the South and Middle Belt Forum who also recount the impact of the life he lived. Yinka believed that we were suffering from misgovernance. We were suffering from a deficient structure and we needed to turn our country around and he was prepared to go any length whatsoever to speak with whoever was necessary. Uh, Yinka was someone who showed an amazing zeal for the evolution of a fairer society and for the emancipation of the underclass, underclass in our society. Inca was selfless, Inca was committed to the cause that he believed in and it was up to you to convince him otherwise with superior argument on any issue. You know, so I'm hoping that we can find more Incas in Nigeria. The South Amido Belt Forum's next port of call is the residence of the leader of Afenifere, Pa Ayo Adebanjo, who sympathized with him. We've come to tell you, sir, that we are weakened but not defeated. Yinka's spirit will fire in us an unquenchable commitment to achieve our victory. The Yoruba Social Cultural Group leader narrates his moments with Odomakin. We have missed a star, a star, a star, real star. Even those old who are older who are even better financialists equipped, they are not authentic. The moment the leaders on cross of the table, they crumble. That's what we are missing. That's, that will be the kernel of your prayer for God to replace the man of his quality, of his stamina, of his loyalty to, to this great country. Thank you very much. State of the nation as well as the newly formulated Southeast Security Outfit, Ebubago, we are also discussed. I don't oppose the session, but I don't oppose it. It is to present the session that we are saying is actually is the answer. All the governors from the five states of the southeast attended the meeting in Oware, and they were on the same page. What happened on Sunday was historic. The wife of the deceased, Jo O.K. Odumakin, says the body of her husband will be laid to rest on Saturday, April 24, 2021, among other funeral rites. Jacinta Obuku reporting for PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.